Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I have a great request from one of the fantastic and much appreciated subscribers of this channel. That was to look at a 19 inch, three millimeter mariner and pair that with a 20 inch, four millimeter rope. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. I'm very happy to do this for this gentleman because he always strives to be the first in the comments. And I truly do appreciate that. Your support on this channel means more than you know. I'm very grateful to know that this channel is having a real true impact on people's lives and I'm grateful to help when I can. We're gonna be taking a look at those two chains. Unfortunately though, I have to say I don't have a three millimeter mariner. Oh. I have a 2.5 millimeter mariner, but I wanna tell you why that doesn't matter. You're looking at the style. Now, if you like the way this style looks, know that a three millimeter Mariner at 19 inches or whatever the case might be, will look absolutely fantastic. If you like this look that you see, you will love the three millimeter Mariner. I recommend you get the three millimeter Mariner if you are going to be doing a look such as the one we're gonna look at today. I don't necessarily recommend the 2.5, not that there's anything wrong with it, but when you're comparing it to a rope chain, you want to try to beef up that other chain to kind of keep up with that rope because even a four millimeter rope is gonna look like, you know, gigantic when compared to any other chain at the same millimeter. So because you're already going with a lower millimeter on the other chain you're using, you're gonna to wanna to go, a, you know, you're not gonna to wanna to do what we do today with the 2.5. I highly recommend you go to that three, even though unfortunately we can only take a look at the 2.5 when compared to the four millimeter. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. So we have around the neck the 2.5 millimeter, 19 inch Mariner, and we have around the neck the four millimeter uh, rope chain at 20 inches, okay? I've tried to lay them out on my neck as best as possible in order to give you an accurate representation. You know, they're laying a little bit different as, as far as um, heights on my neck, but I tried to get the best as possible look. You have this chain. Normally, a lot of people like to have a larger gap, but it depends on what you're looking for because what, like I've mentioned in some past videos, when you have a chain just sit on top of another chain, it looks pretty, pretty cool. It all depends on the style and look you're going for. So I think this actually looks pretty fantastic. I really do like the look and I think a three millimeter would go very, very well. The 2.5, as you might be able to see, is just a little small. Well, it's very small, but it's, it's a cool look. I think it definitely is a cool look. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, you know, as you're moving around, depending on how you orchestrate the chains around your neck, you're going to have the, the, uh, the rope chain kind of like floating back and forth a little bit you might want to try to maybe layer them on your neck just a little bit in order to keep a certain style. But at the end of the day, I think it'll be pretty, pretty good. I personally really, really do enjoy this look. Check this out if you can see it. You have that Mariner and you have it layered up right next to that. Now remember, a three millimeter Mariner is going to look much, much nicer, much nicer than this 2.5. And I think this 2.5 looks pretty pretty fantastic. So I think that if you got a three, you would really, really like the look. I like this look very, very much. I like that it's very close together. You guys know I'm a fan of wearing chains closer together. I don't usually layer chains in large gaps unless, of course, you're going to throw a pendant on something. The reason I like them hanging out close together is because it gives you the illusion of a larger chain. So you're spending less money and you have versatility. Uh, because you can actually wear these on their own if you wanted. So you have those options. You don't really have that option with a solitaire fat link chain. And that's okay because it all depends on where you're going, what you're doing, what's your budget, how much weight do you want around your neck, you know, all that stuff. So I think this is a very versatile, very, very nice look. You're going to pay a decent amount of money for that four millimeter rope, but nothing, you know, nothing too crazy in my opinion. Everybody's budget's different. And uh, for the Mariner, it'll be a really, really decent price. I highly recommend this stack. I love the idea 
very grateful to my friend Amel for bringing it to this channel. So let's take it 12 feet away because that's what we do in this channel. I just want to point out, you see how there's a small gap? You know, because you have the difference in, in length, you're going to have that small gap. I think that small gap is fantastic uh, because at this point where I am right now, that gap actually adds to the thickness of the chain. I've mentioned in the past, our eyes like to look, at least my eyes, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, my eyes look at the top of something and the bottom. Your eye is prone to look at the top here and then to the bottom right here. And because you have a little gap, that's actually going to add to the, the idea of width. It's going to make it look a little bit more wide when really it's not. So you're getting more uh, width around your neck, having a small gap and you're able to also have versatility and save some money rather than buying a thicker millimeter chain. Let's take it 12 feet back. Amel, fantastic, fantastic. I really like the look very, very much. I like the look more than you know. I think it looks really cool. So I, I, I hope that this helps you get an idea. Again, I would go with the three for sure. I would go with the three. And I love the spacing. If you can get a chain, you know, at, at this length, at these lengths, I think it would be great. The three millimeter Mariner, the four millimeter rope chain. I wonder what a five millimeter would look like because I have a five millimeter Mariner. You know, what? let me go get that. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So we're back. We have that four millimeter rope. We have the five millimeter Mariner. Now you might be wondering, Joe, why are you showing the five millimeter Mariner? when um, this subscriber asked to see a smaller millimeter Mariner. Well, the reason why is because I don't have the exact size that I wanted to. Uh, he asked to see a three. But it's also because I wanted to see the, the overall um, complexity of the design. To get a good idea of what the design would look like, and the 2.5 was a little small. If he goes with a three, I think that would probably be perfect. Now, you can also see that even though we have the Mariner here, and it looks like a pretty awesome stack. Look at that. Look at the designs complementing one another. I think it looks very, very cool. Even with, with the fact that this is pretty large, the, the Mariner, the rope holds up very, 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 very well. I would say even a stack like this would go well because the Mariner has the illusion of being smaller because it's not a rope chain. I think the four millimeter rope handles itself very, very well, even in a circumstance like this. I would, however, recommend going with a three or a four millimeter Mariner, not the five, uh, just to give that rope the little, you know, the biggest edge possible to kind of frame that Mariner within it. But uh, really fantastic idea, fantastic look. Let's just take it 12 back, 12 feet back for fun, just to take a look at what that would look like. And again, the fact that the chains are so have so little space between them because of the sizing that we're trying to attain here with the 19 inch and the 20 inch, because of that, that gap, you're going to really have a nice illusion of more chain, okay? So every little bit helps. Hope this video was appreciated by you guys. Look forward to getting out some videos soon. Forgive me, it's taking a while. I've been doing a lot of work. If you guys are following the channel, you are aware. I'm working on the shop, the online shop. Should have that up and running within the next month or so. Very, very excited to do that for you guys. I, I'm looking forward to having some amazing, amazing stuff for you to uh, check out. Anyway, be safe guys, talk soon. I'll catch you all at the next video.